<laughs> it looks like a human being. I think a self-portrait is explorative, investigative. It's the mindset behind the image. It's, it's hot. Part of the brilliance of Suzanne's work is that she's really speaking to the cultural amnesia we have around the family and what is an appropriate model of the family. This is my oldest and only child. This is Mary Margaret. She's eight. She's been eight for 10 years. It's almost like being ambushed. You're sucked into these, these images. First, it was in the backyard. And then it was, oh, well, let's go to Utah. And then she takes it to Paris. And now we're here in New York. Art's hard, remember? Art is hard and painful. <laughs> Where'd it go? It's down the river. I'm using something that is completely inflexible to show how difficult it is to work around these roles as a woman. And we're chronically reacting and dancing with this archetype that really doesn't apply to any of us. Just take a look at us now. I've been so fortunate in this process of having my work go viral. I've been able to get feedback from people around the world. Especially in Korea, where the pressure of the American is probably more extreme than the US. And I don't know that the success of this project is going to be a good thing. It might just be the demise of it. We end up living our lives through images of ourselves living life. The concept behind all of it is the struggle of self against a society that you must fit in.